Hey guys, it's Gillyweed with the Imbibuilds audio guide to the coolest looking build ever, Jadong's ZBT Roach Drop in Tinnitus build. Be sure to check the video description below for a link to the Imbibuilds website where you'll find tips on this build as well as other replays of it in action. In a second, I'll ask you to pause the video while you start a game against an easy AI Terran opponent. Once the game loads, pause it and come back here. I'll then give you a countdown and you can resume your game. Ready? Pause the video. Welcome back. Get ready to unpause the game and start your first drone in 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. You just started your first drone. Keep making them. You'll spawn your first overlord after starting your ninth drone. You should have just started your ninth drone. When you get 100 minerals, spawn an overlord. Your overlord should finish around the same time as your 10th drone. When able, continue constant drone production. Send a drone to your natural to build a hatchery at 15 supply. Build an extractor on one of your gas geysers. Build a spawning pool. You should then be at 15 supply. When your extractor finishes, put three drones on it. Use your next available larva to spawn an overlord. When your pool finishes, spawn a queen at each hatchery and two zerglings. At 100 gas, start Metabolic Boost and pull two drones off gas for now. Spawn an Overlord. You should be at 24 supply. When your lings pop, use them to scout the watchtowers or the front of the Terran base. If he moves out, position your queens defensively and consider making a spine crawler. Inject your hatcheries when your queens finish and spawn an overlord. Keep most of your overlords nearby for the drop later. Once you've denied your opponent's scouting reaper or SCV, or when you hit 50 gas, put two more drones back on your extractor. Do all you can to deny scouting from this point on. Inject your hatcheries and spawn two overlords. At 100 gas, start lair and build three more extractors. You should be at around 40 supply with two queens and 30-ish drones. Spawn an overlord.
build a roach warren and inject your hatcheries. When your extractor's finished, put three drones on each. Spawn an overlord. Inject your hatcheries. When layer finishes, start the ventral sacs and roach speed upgrades. Also, halt drone production and start roach production. Try to keep your roaches hidden for as long as possible. Spawn two overlords when able. Start the overlord speed upgrade and inject your hatcheries. Spawn an overlord. Inject your hatcheries. When overlord speed finishes, move out with your roaches and overlords to drop your opponent. Make five overlords a Nidus network and inject your hatcheries. Once you've started your Nidus network, rally reinforcement roaches to it instead of to your other roaches. When ventral sacs finishes, pick up your roaches and move to drop. You should be dropping around 20 roaches and should have around 112 supply by this point. More of an overseer or two for widow mines and remember to split your roaches. Drop your opponent's base around the 10 minute point. Deploy a nidus worm nearby and continuously reinforce with roaches from the main. Keep injecting your hatcheries and spawning overlords to reinforce when needed. You can also drop creep with overlords to delay his macro. This isn't all in, so you must win with this attack. Focus down his army first before attacking SCVs or buildings. Good luck and have fun!